Science 3, Quarter 3, Week 2. Today, we are going to tackle motion and distance. Are you ready to learn? Learning competency with code. Describe the position of a person or an object in relation to a reference point such as chair, door, or another person. You have learned in our previous lesson that position refers to a place where someone or something is located or has been put from a reference point. Do you still remember what is a reference point? Hmm. Very good. A reference point can be a table, chair, door, or any other object by which you compare the position of another. It is considered as the object used as a basis in telling the position of an object. Now, let's have a short review. I want you to tell the position of the bird. First position, second position, third position, and fourth position. Tell me the location or position of the bird by identifying the reference point. Now let's have a short game. Let's find the 10 hidden objects in the picture. I want you to state the location or position of the hidden objects. Are you ready? Now, let us define what is motion. Any idea? Very good! Motion is the act or process of changing position. Observe the toy car. Do you think it is in motion? Very good! It is in motion because it changes its position.
the beginning, as mentioned a while ago, the girl was in front of the table. The table is considered as the reference point. The girl moved because its position changed in relation to its point of reference, which is the table. Now, look at the third pictures. This is the picture before and after. Did you notice that the car changed its position? Do you think the car is in motion? What is the reference point? Very good! The reference point is the electric post. Now let's have some activities. Complete the paragraph by choosing the correct word from the box. These are the words. Motion, kilometers, reference point, place, position, and distance. Number one is the act or process of changing position. Two, refers to a place where someone or something is located or has been put. When locating the position of an object, the position relative to another object is usually stated. The position of an object can be described with the use of a blank. This is the object by using what you have learned in identifying and describing the position of an object. With the help of your parent or guardian, take a picture in doing them. Send the pictures to your teacher. Number one, place your book under your table. Place your book under your table. Number two, Place your book inside your bag. Place your book inside your bag. Number three. The reference point used. 